Hi there, Cancer, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of December 2nd through to the 8th. I went ahead and shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Cancer. First up, we have the Two of Wands upright, followed then by this Seven of Pentacles upright. Next, we have the Oh, Major Arcana of the Sun in the upright, followed then by Major Arcana of the Hierophant, and lastly, Major Arcana Strength. All of your cards are in the upright position, and you have three Major Arcana here. It looks like it could be an intense week for you, Cancer. Overall energy is two of wands. You've got one foot in the past, one foot in the future, but you're more future future focus you are definitely looking at the road ahead now um some believe that the two of wands is like a choice card or a decision card i and in a way it is a decision card because we can always choose to stay stuck in the past or move forward but most people that's why i feel like in the card he is holding the globe and looking forward most people would choose to go ahead and to go forward so it looks like that's what you're doing. You have your eye on the, on the prize here. Some of you are considering maybe moving, could be moving across waters, moving across um, town. You could be, you know, thinking about moving your home, your business, or sh shaking something up. But you're just looking at, at where you're going now. It's like, I think, Cancer, you're ready to just sort of have a lot of things go into your rear view mirror and just focus in on where you're going and what you need now astrologically speaking that would make a lot of sense the seven of pentacles in the upright position starts your week which is a card that represents reevaluating things this is reevaluating could be how you make your living it could be reevaluating your um, investments sometimes it's looking at your you know if you have stocks or you have investments property investments and so forth just taking a look at it and going hmm you know this bear fruit before but is it going to really continue to bear fruit in the future is it something I should really be putting a lot of time and effort and energy into could be a career crisis too for some of you saying am I making enough money is this the right career for me to be in for the future it could be that that's what's going on for some of you for others of you you could just be taking stock of your financial situation and trying to maybe you know move things around change things up next card up is the leo energy the sun in the upright position this is beautiful energy which represents high vitality having your vitality return maybe after a time of feeling down maybe you had the blues maybe you uh weren't feeling well and your vitality is now back up some of you could be going on vacation and literally feeling the sun on your face or it could just be a beautiful day and you could just be feeling really good high vibrancy it also represents success and attainment one of the best cards in the major arcana Moving on towards the weekend, now we have the Taurus energy here, the Hierophant in the upright position, which points to making a commitment, deciding to do something. It's also contracts. The Hierophant governs contracts, right? So this could be being offered something. It it's, has more significance, I guess, in terms of this. If it's something official, such as if you work for the government or if you work for... Uh, the education system or even um, if you work for churches or things like that. It could be even just making a commitment to maybe a new spiritual group or uh, religious group. It can also represent wanting to do things more the conventional way. But this could be simply needing to sign a contract. Now, this could be for anything. This could be... Um, a contract for a condo. This could be a, con a contract for an office building. Could be any kind of, of uh, lease, um, leasing a vehicle or anything like that. But it could also be making a commitment to another person. But if you do work for, for the government or education system, it could be um, you're being offered, uh, could be a term position, could be like a six month term position or a year's term position. 
And the last card you have is the Strength card in the upright position. This is really nice energy. This usually pops up when we need to sort of, I always say, breathe, just breathe. <laughs> Breathe in, breathe out, <laughs> and take a pause because this is telling us to be patient and not rush through. Now, I can definitely see that with this reading because it looks like you're on the precipice of making some kind of big change here. And while you're doing it, you could be feeling high energy from the sun and everything else, right? And then boom, here comes this lease or this contract and you want to sign it. But this is telling you to slow down, pull back the reins for a minute towards the end of the week and just take your time making this decision about um, this way forward. You're looking for a way forward, but remember you're starting off the week in deep contemplation of what is the best road for you. So just because something is offered, maybe you might not want to just jump in. You may want to, this is requiring you to take a, a step back, take a deep breath and be patient and let everything unfold in, in its natural way. So maybe some of you, this is, you're excited, you hear about the contract and you want to get it signed, you want to get this lease going, but it's just telling you to, you know, cool your jets a little bit at the end of the week because it just wants you to be calm and uh, be patient and let things unfold in a natural way. See, the strength card isn't about brute strength. It's not about pushing forward. It's about inner strength that, that comes from deep within the soul of the individual. And that strength is very gentle and it is kind and it is patient. So pull upon those... Um, those qualities at the end of the week. Looks like a fabulous week for you though. And in closing, I will be pulling a card from the Wisdom Oracle deck. What do we have here for Cancer? To complete the read. Number six, not for you. Now, I don't know what this is. Maybe the whatever you've been in in the past is saying it's not for you anymore and you're realizing this and this is why you're moving forward. Or maybe this contract is being offered. So it's up to you, it's your private message so please do leave a comment in the comment section below and let us know um, whether or not the reading is resonating for you and do tell us how so so i want to thank you very much for joining me and i really hope you have a fabulous week like i said it looks like a really good week ahead so I hope the reading also helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget, liking, sharing, subscribing all helps the channel grow. So make sure you share it. Share it far and wide um, if you, you know, like the video and agree with it. And uh, if you do, I will see you again in the next video. Take care. Much love. Namaste. Bye-bye for now.